this morning. In other news, Michael Cheeson, solicitor of the Defoe Estates, was found dead this morning in his office. Oh, really? Mr. Cheeson was found to have hanged himself, and ruling of suicide has already been declared. It's the latest in a recent string of deaths and disappearances connected to the mysterious Defoe Manor. A string which began with the murdering suicide of Sir Clarence Defoe and his young wife, and has been more recently the disappearance of BBC reporting Simone Taylor. Police were hoping to acquire the key to Defoe Manor in order to investigate, but the location of the key was known only by Mrs. Chasen himself, Mr. Chasen himself. Numerous television stars have already come forward to pay tribute to Miss Taylor, as it becomes increasingly apparent that...
that's a copy of the local papal date on the last Friday. Heir to the foe estates found dead. Sir Clarence and the foe, last of the long running defense line, was found dead yesterday in this home. The foe was in. The foe 24 was found hanging from a tree in the front yard of the defense His recent bride, Julia Swanson, the foe was also found dead in the mansion, apparently stabbed to death. Inspector Jacob Barnes, the officer. Not working properly. 
to the south. if you came with us right now. Oh. Oh no. That's how this day ends. Oh no, we're doing it. This really is a horrendous, ugly little ad wooden idol. Hang on, what are these little stains? Day four. my head. What? What the hell happened last night? I remember. I got Philip. Did I kill Philip? I don't remember anything. Well, you remember that apparently. Last thing I remember is putting my hand on that idol. I've got to warn the others. It's locked. God knows where they found the key. Stuck shut. It's a door. I can see my car from here. I don't know, can I talk to the door? I want to answer. Hello? Anyone out there? Quiet. Quiet! Simone? Is that you? Yes, I'm keeping guard. What? Why? Shut up! You killed Philip! Don't even try to deny it. I, I did? Don't play games with me. I keep guard here until the police get into the grounds. Then I'm handing you over. Simone, what do you want now? What have you done with my time? <laughs> Where's Jim? You're making a terrible thing. What makes you think I killed Philip anyway? Oh, well, let me see. First, Jim and I are attacked by some huge guy in a welding mask and an apron with a machete, but manage to get away. Then we come into the kitchen and find a huge guy in a welding mask and apron unconscious next to Philip's corpse. And when we took the mask off, and behold, it's you. Look, you've got it all wrong. Oh, really? Well, then, let's hear your version. <laughs> None of these sound any good. Uh, it's technically true, I guess. He made me put on his mask and apron. When he attacked me and Jim, he was wearing a grey pinstrip suit. I suppose you lent it to him for the weekend? 
I guess. I was assessed by the gods. Oh, now that impresses me. Did you think of that all by yourself? <laughs> it's the truth, I swear. Wait, did you kill AJ? Wait, is that is that a fact? No, he can't have. He didn't pick up the idol then. God knows what killed AJ. <laughs> go touch the idol in the trophy room. You'll see. I'm not lying. Let's go and have a look in the basement. There's two corpses down there, Sir Roderick and Matthew Defoe. And take a look through those books I was carrying. There's a ghost here, I swear. Jellyby, I'm not going to let you drag me into your lunatic fantasy. Just keep your mouth shut. You done with my tie. It was Jim's idea. We took it off you so you wouldn't hang yourself. Why wouldn't you want me to hang myself if I'm such a cold blood killer? Jim still seems to think you might somehow be innocent. That boy really admired you, you know. I'm filled with shame. I'm sure. What do you want now? Where is Jim? Why do you want to know? You so you can track him down and kill him? Uh, if you left him alone, he's already there. Could be in table. I know. Until the police have you handcuffed, we all are. Oh, am I? Why is that? The police will never get in here. The real killer's still on the loose. Haven't you ever watched a horror movie? Oh, sure. I suppose they knocked you out, dressed you in their clothes, put a machete in your hand, and cleverly hit while you discovered you. Something like that. Oh, please. Where's Jim? Shut up. The real killer's still out there. He could be creeping on even as we speak. I said, shut up. Um, you're making a terrible mistake. Just go and have a look in the basement. Go touch the aisle. No, don't do that. What a good idea. Why didn't I think of that? Go and check some stupid idol leaving you conveniently unguarded. Maybe I'll save that for plan B. There's always someone who gets wrongfully accused of the killings, and whoever does the accusing is destined to be horribly murdered next. What the hell's kind of fantasy world are you living in? You're the killer. That's a proven fact. There's no way of denying it. Hmm. And even if they have to just get inside, they can't leave. Will you shut up about your stupid haunted house theory? One good solid battering ram to the front door, and they come in and go as they please. Why don't they then? Um... Where's Jim? Ah, uh, kinda. Can't really do anything anymore, can I? Wait, is that all the items I have? Hmm. <sighs> Where's Jim? Why do you want to know? So you can track him down and kill him? He knows that I'm innocent, does he? You almost hacked him to pieces with the machete. I think he'll have to take in that into consideration. Ah, uh, what can I still click in this conversation tree? Oh yeah, that one just kind of ends. Making a terrible mistake. The police will never get in, the real killer is still on the loose. Haven't you watched I watched I read I did a lot of these, didn't I? Uh hmm. I was supposed to uh, kill him tried to kill me first. Oh, I see. You killed Philip in self-defense. So I suppose when you burst into the living room and swung that machete and Jim at me, you were just trying to swat a fly or something. Mm, yeah, none of these really work.
Come on. Wait, what am I doing? Left to the bottom one? I've got it all wrong. Oh, really? So I tried this one. Just go and leave, look in the basement. I didn't try this one yet, which seemed like a bad idea at the time. It possessed me just like it did when I killed AJ. What are you talking about now? The ghost. It talks to me late at night when no one can else can hear me. Can hear. Uh, trying to make me do things, evil things. Shut up. Never leaves me alone. I can't sleep. Then I have the blackouts. I'll wake up with blood all over me in unfamiliar places. It's happened to me so many times now I can't count them. Kill AJ, kill Philip, kill everyone. It wouldn't leave me alone. I'm warning you. It's talking to me right now. I'm delirious with guilt most of the time. I still think I can get rid of it, the voice, with your help. It's talking to me right now. It's saying kill the bit. You can't break the window. Kill the button. Shut up. Keep away from me. Oh, what? May I help if you'll just let me out of here? You can help me exercise it. There's probably some stuff in the library about it. No way. You really think I'm that stupid? There's no ghost. It's just you, and you are insanity. The sooner the police get you, the better. Dude, I exhausted almost the entire tree now. What is this? Oopsie. Possessed me. Um, I'm delirious with guilt most of the time. I can see the face of every poor innocent I've ki ever killed so close when I close my eyes. Most evenings I carry it <laughs> several times. Sometimes I just want this nightmare to end. And death uh, came right now. I'd welcome it. Simone, let me have my tie back. Your tie? Please. Oh, the hell with you. Have it, you psycho. Really? It was the very last conversation tree. Are you kidding me? Pick up the tie. Come on. There's no my emergency lockpick. This, uh, see, this demonstrates the importance of forethought. Um, why is there only one in here now? Where'd Simone got to know? To get her and Jim to believe me about the idol.
miss everyone. Trilby! Simone, before you say anything. I know you didn't really kill Philip or AJ. You do? I figured you were lying to get me away from the shed. I saw him again. Who? The killer! The guy in the welding mask! I spotted him downstairs, but he didn't see me. And I can't find Jim anywhere. Simone, you have to listen to me. The ghost. Oh, shut up about your ghost. This isn't a ghost, it's a regular flesh and blood psycho. Speak of the devil. He's awake. He's fine. Doesn't remember anything, just like I didn't. <clears throat> Look, I only sort of half believe this possession thing right now. But in the absence of a better suggestion, I guess I'm going along with it. Have you been going over those books I was carrying? Yeah, and some texts on the occult. Apparently, if we want to destroy this thing, we have to get the spirit back to its old body. That'll make it quasi-immortal. It'd still be dangerous, but not unkillable. We have to find the body first. And then, do, uh, and then to do that, we have to know where the ghost is. I've been thinking about this, and I have a fairly workable theory. Yes, I have a couple of ideas about it myself. Right, well, the ghost is something to do with the appearances of Roderick and Matthew Defoe, right? Uh, death and disappearances all started after that. Agreed. So, what do you think? I don't think Sir Roderick's wife died naturally. I think Sir Roderick had more than one son. Sir Roderick obviously killed Matthew and disappeared. Actually, I'd rather not... Yeah, another son... Yes, because of what I read in Sir Roderick's diary. Exactly. He makes references to uh, some monster he helped create, and he doesn't mean Matthew. And Matthew talks about another boy in the house, a boy behind the kitchen door. Those manacles indicate that someone was kept imprisoned in the basement. Where do you think this other son came from? I want to hear what you think first. I think that if I gave birth to twins. I think Sir Roderick's father ha had a love child while in Africa. I think Sir Roderick had an affair just before Belinda died. I don't know. I mean, I'm guessing twins, right? I agree with that. I found Belinda's death certificate. She died about 20 minutes after Matthew was already out. I think it was the second son that did her in. Sir Roderick went practically insane with grief, blamed the poor kid for her death, kept him locked in the basement, refused to even acknowledge his existence. Can you imagine what that must have done uh, with the boy growing up in a filthy grotto like some kind of animal given no education, no love? The boy would be completely retarded and insane. He probably couldn't tell the difference between one person and another. That's why he kills absolutely everyone who enters the house. He thinks they're all Sir Roderick, come to torment him some more. But what p happened on uh, on that day, 15 years later, when Sir Roderick and Matthew Defoe disappeared? You found their corpses in the basement, so they were obviously murdered. Question is how and why? Obviously, the other boy managed to escape from the basement. Sir Roderick went mad and tried to kill him. Um, maybe someone found out about him and killed Sir Roderick. Yeah, I'm guessing this one, right? Yes, remember in Sir Roderick's directly in the last entry, he talks about destroying the monster. He must have gotten really drunk, and it being the anniversary of Belinda's death didn't help. He went down to the basement and beat the poor kid to death. Half to death. Matthew found the body afterwards and tried to bandage him up. Matthew wasn't the sharpest tool in the box. His brother lived on for a bit longer. Long enough to get a mask and machete and to kill both his father and Matthew. Then he must have just died of the wounds. 
and we're going to try to destroy his ghost. None of anything that happened to him is his own fault. What little mind he had is no more. He has now his hate. If we don't kill him, he'll kill us all. There's no reasoning with him. I suppose you're right. It's very sad, really. What will you do now? I'm going to find this body. Then I'm going to figure out how to bring his soul back to it and destroy him. Well, let me know if I can be of any help. Good luck. Thank you. That was a whole lot of dialogue. Mm. Oh, we just have to do this again. Um. Can we get an item from this guy? Yes, Jim. Can I ask you a favor? Sure, I still have the mask and the apron and the knife from last night. Could you take them away from me? I really don't like having them around. Sure. Thank you. No, thank you, Jim. Yes? What happened last night exactly? Well, me and Miss Taylor were in the living room. And this big man entered the mask and tried to kill us with his big knife. We were able to get away, but then we heard Mr. Hardy screaming. Miss Taylor ho told me to wait here. A bit later, she came back and told me that it was you in the mask. I didn't really believe that. She went off to keep guard or something. Then I went into the trophy room and found this wooden doll thing on the floor. Next thing I remember, I was in the bathroom and my head really hurt. Did I really try to kill you? No, but something did through you. I don't like this place anymore, Mr. Trilby. You and me both. How are you feeling? Still hurts a bit. Woozy. Apart from that, I'm fine. So, I've got all this stuff now. Um, um, can I make what I want from this somehow? Apron? No? Hmm. Uh, what will I use for strength? I can use the machete as, as the stick, the welding mask as the object, and maybe the apron somehow? Max with leather, eight pound. Oh, come on. Um, it's an ordinary old fashioned welding mask, spotted with blood. Hmm. I'm sure this would work actually. BRB. be any different. Where can I find anything to make a rope out of? This doesn't make sense. Can I use this rope? Where's the idol even? Now it's just a blank portrait. Oh, 
this? Scissors? <sighs> Use? Scissors on apron. I've cut a thin strip off. Oh, and now we can use this on this. And now we can use this on this. And now we can leave. For the salt. Slept. I guess this must be where he slept if he was chained all this. Hey. Oh. Sorry about that. Let's see. Um, use or look at this thing. Seems to be indicating upwards. What contrast? Bodies never found. He's been getting to my right. Let's do it. straight down. Uh, use tiles. I can't get them out with my bare hands. Oh. What, whatever happened to that pickaxe? Uh, wait. Do I need the pickaxe for this? Uh, scissors? where all my items went. Come 
on Trilby. What am I supposed to do? But do uh, <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, maybe everything's in my kitchen. I'll check the car. in the car and not much point in driving it when there's nowhere to go. Okay, no idea. It's not in the pool, is it? Do I have to stop here for today though? Um, I'll have a third session of this. What are we doing? Oh right, I'm gonna use the scissors on this because that's a puzzle. Uh, and now. The machete on the tiles. I can lever up the floor with the machete. Pay dirt. Whoa, these bones are pretty oddly shaped. I think this kid must have been born deformed. Uh, use means pick up, right? I'm not sure what to do with myself. Uh, why was this important again? The final resting place of Roderick Defoe, murderous younger, murderous younger son. After killing his father and brother, he must have been able to stagger all the way up here before dying from his wounds. How the heck did he end up under the tiles? This doesn't make any sense. No. Um, did they even have bathrooms in the 1800s? Ah, yeah, they definitely did. They just didn't have plumbing. Uh... I think. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> I think that's how it worked. The porcelain dishes? I don't know. Um, um, what am I not getting here? Um, is there anything in the book? Uh, finding a person from their possession. Yeah, I did that. Okay, we managed that. How about use this with 
body. So I can't just pick him up. Oh. I thought I just tried that. Remains. The heavily decayed remains of Sir Roderick Defoe's unwanted son. Dun dun dun. Just throw him into the fire, or what's going on? What's supposed to advise us to this anyway? Simone, Trilby? What am I supposed to be doing again? You need to find the ghost's original body, then find a way to bring its soul back to it. Then destroy the body and the soul together. Right, right. How do I destroy him? How do I bring the soul back? There's bound to be a few texts on the subject in the library. To destroy him. I mean, if I bring him back, he'll be undead. What? Is that something we can assume? What if it requires some special method? I have, an idea. I have no idea. Maybe the summoning books in the library will offer a clue. The summoning books, you say? Must be something about summoning angry spirits in here. Uh, <laughs> okay. The arts of black magic and necromancy, summoning angry spirits to their bodies. Murderous wraiths are nigh indestructible when they can hop from body to body, but tying them down to their old bodies returns them to the partial mortality. To partial mortality, a state in which they can be destroyed. Simply enough, place the spirit's original body in a place of fire and death. Return it its old clothes, then read aloud the following passage, omitting nothing. There's just a load of magic gobbledygook here. When I want to read it out, I should use the book on myself. Warning, the summoning of a wraith will often bring forth other unquiet spirits who will haunt those who hold their possessions. So, wait, I just throw him into the fire? That's all it told me? I mean, I could have guessed that. I thought the salt is still involved somehow. But I guess the salt is done. Well, it also t talked about this, I suppose. They won't go together? Oh, okay, then I guess... I'm sure I can think of uses for that other than as kindling. Well, I thought that's all it said. Throw it in the fire. Return the partial my state in which they can be destroyed. Simply enough, uh, place the spirit's original body in a place of fire and death. Return it its old clothes, then read aloud the following passage. I, I don't get it. Fire and death, and then you return the clothes when it's already burning? What is... What is it? Also, how's the idol involved? Also, where is the idol even? Looks like someone's been doing a little tidying up. Judging by those little red stains, I think this is what Sir Roderick used to bludgeon his unfolded son to death with. That would explain why touching it causes the possession. Uh, oh, floor. Oh. Oh, was this always here? I guess we would count as a room of fire and death. Oh, uh, you mean because of the trophies? Well, this is not the most obvious thing to guess here. Some I don't think I've approved this looks. Oh, I do like the arts, the pixel art, this is just great. So... Yeah, it goes nothing. 
believe I could have planned this better. Oh, oh, am I dead? It won't answer me. So I'm gonna go get that book. Wait, why not? <laughs> Did I talk to her? Soul back, text subject in the library. I don't know, you seem to find the bodies in the basement, alright? Maybe you should use the same keen body hunting ability used then. <coughs> Not sure what just went on there. I didn't have to do that last time. Why doesn't he pick it up? Oh wait, I already have it. Oh. Oh, I already picked it up earlier. Put his body down, and then maybe there's more dialogue choices.
gonna get the ghosts back from the father and the brother. Should I use the teddy on Jimmy here? Okay, hold on to this for me, Jen. Whatever you say. Wait, what's an item of... Uh...
to start the second one, but uh, I'm not really feeling it. Um... <laughs> 